Hello and welcome to our special feature, Karunia Deemed University presents, where education meets opportunity. India has long been considered the world's back office. But Karunia Deemed University is firmly focused on transforming India into a future-ready front office by churning out a next generation of graduates that are just as cutting edge as they are compassionate. And we caught up with Chancellor Dr. Paul Dhinakaran to better understand the Institute's approach to bridging the gap between academia and industry. So thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us and to kick off the conversation, I'd love your take on the current education landscape in our country and how you feel it compares to those of global counterparts. India is at a point where it could take off as a global platform for higher education, a global destination. And uh, much is being done to bring together the concept of education uh, to all people, all nationalities, and the world itself. And I'm so glad it's being turned around to the concept of producing something new rather than learning what has already been done. How do you ensure that your graduates are industry ready? Well, our focus in Karunia is to raise products or graduates who would find solutions to human problems. So our mission is towards that rather than just learning what has already been done well, there is a concept of the student going into class and the teacher says, finger on your lips. Right. Just write what I ask you to write, only then you get full marks. But the whole scenario has to turn around if it has to go into a global market where people are given the vision and the understanding and the comprehension to understand things and then come up with their own new models or prototypes or products which will go to solve the human problems. Whatever is being produced has to reach millions. So then you become a market leader. So that's our vision at Karunia. Well, sir, that makes for a wonderful segue into my next question because in the short time that we've spent on the Karunia Deemed University campus, we can't help but notice there's a very strong social consciousness in the air and the students demonstrate a sentiment to give back, which typically stems a lot later in life. So where does this come from? How is it unculcated ultimately? Right from 1986 when the university started, of course it started off as a college and then became autonomous, then became a university, deemed to be university. Our focus has been to maintain it and run it as a residential institution. So we have brought in students from all across India, every state, every union territory, speaking different languages, from different religions, from different levels of society, and they all live in the campus. And in every room, there is a complete uh, breakdown of uh, students from different groups. So they learn to live together as a family. And only when they live together as a family in the campus can they go out and build a family relationship in the nation. Mm -hmm. And not only they live together, but they work together. Uh, I want to now get to the rigor of the academic curriculum. You know, how would you describe it and to what extent does that ultimately reflect in the career graph of the student? The one edge that the international uh, universities have over India or have been having earlier is comprehension. Uh, right from day one in the international schools and international uh, colleges, the students have been trained 
uh, to read, read, read books on their own and uh, come up with uh, uh, criticize or uh, come up with critiquing mm -hmm. all that they have learned sure. and then come up with new models which uh, could have been done to do better. But in India, it has always been, you just learn what I ask you to learn. Right. So our mission at Karunia has been to help them to comprehend things, mm -hmm. to look at things critically and look at the needs of the society and then uh, learn from that. And the faculty also uh, have been uh, guided to bring in case studies, uh, real life problems, mm -hmm. and what's happening in the market, and then uh, ask the students to find solutions. And credits are given for that. And working in the community, credits are given for that. Sure. And every paper has a project, a real life project or a market project and then they are evaluated accordingly. And so tell us about the rigor of the admissions process ultimately and to what extent does Karunia deem to be university cater to financially disadvantaged students? Well, the admissions are open to all. Those who are unable to afford uh, higher education, of course, we have to provide the best for the students. Right. So it costs a lot of money, um, but then we keep it at a level where everyone can afford. Mm -hmm. uh, but those who are not able to afford, we give them scholarships up to five crores of rupees every year. Uh, and also, if they, ha if they lose their uh, father or mother, who is the breadwinner in the family, mm -hmm. they get free scholarship mm -hmm. uh, all through their studies. Mm -hmm. And uh, even if they want to do their master's program, and if they have uh, accomplished and uh, obtained certain levels of uh, academic uh, requirement, we support them. All that you're doing with respect to providing Next Gen India with a holistic education, what impact would you like for that to have on this larger agenda of nation building? Let your light shine. In a small way, we may shine our light, but light always overcomes darkness. So we would like to be that small light to raise young minds and hearts and families to arise and shine. So thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us and we wish you and team all the continued success. Thank you very much for this opportunity. It's time for a short break, but our special feature Karunia Deemed University presents where education meets opportunity continues on the other side. So stay with us. Hello and welcome to our special feature, Karunia Deemed University presents where education meets opportunity. And now we bring you a 360 degree perspective on the Karunia Deemed University experience. You'll hear from everyone, from alumni to administration and staff to students. Have a look. Karunia Institute of Technology and Sciences was founded in 1986 with the vision to raise professionals and leaders with a strong motivation and commitment to serve humanity. Karunia Institute of Technology and Sciences received an autonomous status in 1999 and was declared a deemed to be university. The institution is accredited by the NAC A++ grade and it offers a wide range of courses in bachelor's, master's and doctoral degree programs. The programs offered for undergraduates span engineering, agriculture, commerce, artificial intelligence, computer science, electronics and computer engineering, forensic science, biotechnology and food technology. The postgraduate courses available at Karunya include engineering, management, sciences and the arts.
the main USPs of the Department of Mechanical Engineering is academic excellence, value inculcation and service to humanity. Every student is trained in such a way that they have to innovate new product which will address the problems of the humanity by way of bringing solutions to human problems. This lab is the structural engineering lab. This is one of the major facilities of uh, civil engineering. Uh, in this lab, students are given more exposure to have a practical knowledge, undergraduate program and postgraduate program. Uh, we have B.Tech in civil engineering program and M.Tech in structural engineering program. Both students are given hands-on exposure in this laboratory. This laboratory has majorly three facilities. One is universal testing frame and loading frame and we have non-destructive structural testing facility. So all these three facilities are world class facilities and it is the unique facility available in Department of Civil Engineering. These three facilities are developed to have a hands-on exposure to the students so that they can have more employment opportunities in the outside world. Today, India is becoming a powerful destination for the space sector. To make India well equipped in this space, Karunya launched its Aerospace Engineering Department in 2009 with the primary objective of producing aerospace engineers to meet the growing demand of serving the nation. Students receive the chance to acquire skills in core domains like aerodynamics, stress analysis, materials and structures, aircraft design, propulsion, space dynamics, artificial intelligence, machine learning and smart manufacturing manufacturing, among others. The Aerospace Engineering Department in Karunia is very unique in the sense that the experimental facilities that we have here are available only in the institutes of national importance uh, in our country. Among private universities, this Karunia is the only place where we have a supersonic channel or a shock tube where we can do experiments at 3.5 times the speed of sound, which is a very unique facility and therefore they are much more prepared than any other student in our country on high speed flows. And they are very well prepared for jobs in the industry that requires that kind of knowledge. We got different subjects in agriculture, nearly 11 different divisions are there. In this complex, we got the department of plant pathology, entomology, soil science, horticulture, and plant breeding and genetics. Here, we equip the students in such a way they were fitted well for the agricultural officer job or wherever they go. Here, they learn how to manage the insects and diseases which attacks the plants and causes economic loss to the plants. Then soil science department, how to test the soil, how to test the water samples. These are all basic things required for a farming community. The students are equipped well to become an entrepreneurs. We are offering courses on beekeeping, how to become a beekeeper and commercially how to uh, do beekeeping and they can earn uh, revenue by starting this unit. 
we offer some nearly about 11 courses on, to become an entrepreneurship. They take even nursery production. Now nursery is b b picking up and students can start their own nursery. How to graft uh, different types of plants, how to uh, do budding or grafting, how to multiply the plants in the tissue culture. All these are taught in another set of things. The remarkable growth of the Indian food industry has created the need for qualified and trained personnel in the fields of food processing technology and engineering, food quality analysis, packaging, storage, cold chain management and food safety. Considering this, the Department of Food Processing Technology was established at Kadunya in 2005. The students are trained in the areas of post-harvest technology of food crops, processing, preservation, packaging and value addition of food for a complete food supply chain management experience from farm to fork. Our food processing department, we have equipment in the industrial scale and as well as the laboratory scale we do have. We have pilot split uh, uh, equipment are also there. And uh, so many entrepreneurs, they are coming to our university to incubate their idea. And students also can incubate their idea. And apart from this, uh, we are giving training, industrial training also we are giving. We have the very good curriculum, which is a fine blend of uh, science and as well as technology. And uh, we have faculty members from different discipline, from basic, from uh, right from microbiology, biochemistry, engineering, and as well as technology. We have the blend of, the nice blend of all the people, okay? So uh, the, uh, the, curri the curriculum is unique. It is a unique blend of all these things. And after completing the curriculum, after completing the B.Tech degree, the students can, can go either as a researcher, or they can become the entrepreneur, or they can go for manufacturing unit also. They can be employed in the manufacturing unit also. Karunia's Department of Robotics Engineering doesn't just teach students how to build robots. It empowers them to become leaders in the field. Students work on real-world projects that challenge them to think creatively, problem-solve, and innovate. Karunia's Department of Electrical and Electronics Engineering offers students hands-on experience in automation and drives technology through partnerships with industry leaders such as Siemens. In collaboration with MS Salzer Electronics Limited, students are offered innovative projects, plant trainings and internships that provide them with real-world experience and prepare them for the industry. With a focus on innovation and entrepreneurship, Karunia's Department of Biomedical Engineering provides students with the opportunity to publish research, obtain patents, and develop products that have a real-world impact. With a vision to develop influential leaders and to find solutions to societal problems, the School of Management at Karunia strives to groom students both on the personal and professional front to assume corporate responsibilities at the local and global level. The department has achieved the unique distinction of being the first department to offer an MBA with the accreditation from Association of Chartered Certified Accountants, ACCA UK, in the state of Tamil Nadu. Karunia Deemed University has always provided a platform for students to explore, collaborate and find innovative solutions to complex challenges aligned with Karunia's 25 technology mission and the university's research focus areas. Mindcraft, the annual event, showcases the models developed by students from various departments, providing insights into the four pillars of food, water, energy and health. The Unbox Innovation and Technology Museum and Aqua Musea Water Museum showcase products and patents generated by students and professors and models of semi-arid zones and water resource systems respectively. I'm currently pursuing my mechanical engineering. I'm in my last year 
And last year, from um, ISTL Sikarnia, I was appointed to go to an uh, international internship in Czech Republic. And I participated in the Formula Student uh, International Competition. And through them, I visited eight more countries and visited them for all the race events. And I um, worked on the car, fabricated all the parts, and I learned a lot of things. And I had a very good international exposure. I worked on a project, it was a CNC laser machining, which is quite uh, used in the mechanical industry right now, and which was really a blessing for me at the same time because I learned a lot there. In, uh, we worked in uh, automation laboratory. The guide was there was so good. He was very friendly towards me. And uh, what I learned, I'll take it, uh, and I use it in my professional career till the day I die. And I want to thank my professors and my uh, faculties in mechanical engineering in Carbon Institute of Technology because they enabled me, they equipped me with uh, the confidence which I needed to go and perform there. So yeah, thank you. I came here with uh, zero knowledge about the field uh, since my interest dragged me into it. But then when I came here, I learned more into it. I got deeper knowledge and uh, the labs, the facilities here, it helped me a lot. And uh, we also have flight simulator inside. So if someone is uh, want to experience uh, how pilot lives. They can experience that also. Plus uh, drone, we have drone workshops, uh, lab to make a drone. We got into uh, internships from uh, uh, in places outside, like uh, many of my friends, they went to uh, VSCC, they went to uh, ISTRAC for their internships. And Karunia is place which gave us that opportunities. So, in uh, not only inside but uh, they have given us connections from which we can learn from the outer uh, for the from the industry also Karunia has embraced smart initiatives towards creating a green campus Karunia provides fully furnished residential facilities for boys and girls separately The central library is well equipped with modern facilities and resources Karunia as a residential institution hosts diverse, creative and talented students from across the country and from different parts of the world within a safe, secure environment and a plethora of student activities to enjoy. The campus life at Karunia is vibrant, colourful, entertaining and engaging, setting students up for long-term personal and professional success. Karunia, Karunia. Karunia solving human problems. Karunia makes me arrive and shine. Well, that brings our special feature, Karunia Deemed University Presents, where education meets opportunity to a close. I'm Pooja Jain, signing off from the Karunia campus in Coimbatore. Thanks for watching.